Welcome back. This is Andre Guichard, Fine Arts South of Roosevelt Road here at the DuSable Museum, Gallery Guichard at DuSable Museum, with Calvin Coleman from Maryland in his new solo exhibit, Amalgamation, with over 75 original works by Calvin. Calvin, welcome back to Chicago. How you feeling? I'm doing well, thank you, Andre. Thanks for having me. So what do you uh, want to tell our viewers about this show, why this is a must-see in terms of the exhibit, coming out to see the exhibit, and why it's important that they take some time and set aside some time to come and see your work. Absolutely. Um, amalgamation um, was uh, thought of because what I have here is a, a great amount of uh, works, and each work is definitely um, uh, dealing with different um, styles that I have. And with all those works put together, it, it, it um, actually brings about the work as one. So therefore, with the 75 works we have on display, um, the viewer will be able to see um, many styles, like I said before, um, variations of my work. And therefore, um, we came up with Amalgamation as the title for the show. You've been painting how long now, Cal? Um, I've been painting actually since 1989. Started in 1989 as a hobby, which um, actually turned into a passion, which turned into a business, which basically turned into my livelihood. Mm. So I noticed a lot of the work over the last five years and probably the last 10 years have dealt with the subject matter of the woman. Yes. Could you talk a bit about why that subject matter the, the touches so much of your work. Sure, the, the woman um, is my muse um, mainly because of the strength of a woman, the beauty of a woman. Um, um, they're, they're, they basically are the backbone, I believe, of a man. Um, so a lot of my work has women in them, and I just try to um, acknowledge them through my paintings. Hmm. Yeah. Now the mediums, most of your work has a lot of texture, canvas, wood, but could you talk a bit about the mediums you use, the collages, and why you choose those mediums? Absolutely. Um, I use a lot of multimedia in my work. Uh, um, textiles, fabrics, compound, um, compounds, uh, wood, um, and the reason why I do that is because I love texture, and texture adds a definitely um, a, a different characteristic to my art. And when I do that, my it helps my art pop off the canvas more or less. Mm. Um, so it, it gives it a good, a good look. So I noticed Bible verses in some of your works. Why the collage with the Bible verse versus any magazine or anything else? Mm. I noticed that you know you do focus on scripture. Yeah, um, and, and some of my works, I've, I've done some series that, that actually give, um, um, of, I guess, praise to God for giving me the gift to paint. Because it truly is a gift, because I'm a self-taught artist. Um, I haven't had any classes, so really it's, it's going on my spirit when I paint. And um, that's my way of giving back to God for giving me the ability to, to uh, do what I do and share it with the world, uh, my paintings. Mm -hmm. So, roughly 75 works or more in this exhibit, are you this prolific all the time? Uh, pretty much so. Um, when I get into a zone or <clears throat> what have you, when I start painting, it just flows. You know, it's not a, it's not a um, hard process. It's not, you know, um, I, I gotta really think about it. I just keep going and going and going. And, um, you know, I usually work on maybe five paintings at once. Uh, when I'm done with them, I put them aside, and I go on to the next paintings, and, and so on and so on and so on. Mm. So, of this whole exhibit, do you have a favorite? And I know that's a tough question for an artist. Which one, or one, or what series right now speaks to you the most as the artist who created the work? Well, there is one that I, well, I love all the works. Obviously, they're like children to me. <clears throat> However. There is one that, that kind of touches me more so than any other is, is the, um, the painting called um, For the Next Generation, which is really about ovarian cancer. Um, 
and, and the reason why that's special to me is because of me being a cancer survivor myself. Um, I get to share um, the, the sincerity of that issue, um, cancer. Um, so the next generation, which, which deals with ovarian cancer, um, is the painting. Hmm. Over the last five years, I would approximate, approximate over 200 works of art have been collected by Chicago collectors, and you're an East Coast artist Yes. who has really forged a true infrastructure of collectors in the Chicago Midwest area. What do you attribute that to? Is it the work, how it speaks, or just your ability to push and touch the creativity around the country through galleries and different things? How, how were you able to accomplish that? Many artists look at that model and wonder how could you have done that? Right. Um, I would like to say that it's, it's a combination of, of, of what you just said. Um, my work, my work speaks to the audience. You know, whether white, black, yellow, green, my work transcends race. It, it, you know, and it it, it, it's, it speaks volume. It speaks about who I am and my character, my spirit, and I think people feel that when they see my work. The texture uh, of my paintings, you know, makes you want to touch them. You know, makes you want to be a part of them. So I really believe it's a, it's the combination of what you've said about um, the the style of the painting, and then I guess who I am as a person coming out of into the painting. Well, here you have it, Calvin Coleman, up close and personal, a fingerprint that really is unique to him, his work, and we invite you to visit the DuSable Museum, Gallery Guichard at the DuSable Museum through January 15th, 2011. Thank you once again and see you next time. Thanks, Calvin. Thank you. Appreciate it.